Looking into the heart of the sun with the Solar Dynamics Observatory. Welcome friends, this is Dr. Jim Daly with Astronomy for Change, here to talk to you about our home star, the sun, and some amazing activity that's been happening lately. This is the sun in visible light, observed by the SDO between September 1st and 7th. It seems benign enough and is something that we're used to seeing on our home star. What we don't see in this view is what's actually happening inside. The SDO continuously monitors the sun in 10 wave bands, mostly in the extreme ultraviolet part of the spectrum, corresponding to superheated gas in the million degree range. By superimposing the imagery corresponding to those extreme ultraviolet emissions onto the visible light view, we can see a direct correlation between the active flaring regions and the sunspot groups. Sunspots represent cooler regions on the sun's photosphere, where the flow of hot convective gas from deep in the solar interior to the surface is interrupted by the ever-twisting and changing solar magnetosphere. This visible extreme ultraviolet composite view of the sun in 2K shows a very active sun. A direct correspondence can be seen between the active flaring regions observed and the large super sunspot groups now visible on the solar photosphere. August 2024 has seen the largest sunspot number of any month in the current solar cycle, cycle 25, so far, and since September, tw September 2001, 23 years ago. The solar cycle peaks every 11 years, and it is now been being suggested that the maximum for the current solar cycle, cycle 25, is occurring now. Previously, it was predicted to occur next summer, the summer of 2025. Based on observed activity and the published sunspot groups now for August, it may be occurring and may be among the strongest on record. This is Dr. Jim Daly of Astronomy for Change. May you come to love the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night. And remember, the Earth is a mote of dust floating in a sunbeam. That's reality. Everything else is just marketing. The great philosopher Plato famously said, astronomy compels the soul to look upward and leads us from this world to another. Astronomy for Change is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to effect positive change through astronomy and science education. It is our belief that by inspiring and empowering current and future generations to become interested and engaged in astronomy and science, this positive change will be realized. If you enjoyed this video or found it educational or useful, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and sharing the video. These actions on your part are free to do and will help us grow. Also, why not consider supporting us by leaving us a tip or buying us a coffee or perhaps visiting our Patreon page? Any amount would help and would be most appreciated. All the links and details are in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching.